Don't see any dolphins yet, babe. Yeah, get them. Get them. <laughs> Find those dolphins. Dude, dolphin, dolphin. another video and if we look tired it's because we are <laughs> it's five in the morning right now the sun has not come up yet we are in Lovina Bali if you guys haven't watched part one of this video go check it out super awesome time right now we're here with Bali Golden Tours and we are going to see dolphins this morning yes it's like the number one thing to do here in Lovina and I think like the number one tour in Bali is to go see these dolphins <laughs> No, I don't know. This, she tells me it's number one tour like two days ago and right, then we're I late. say it. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> so we'll see you guys over at the marina and getting our boat and captain. Okay, so we just got to the beach and it's super early in the morning and there's so many people here right now. I can't believe it. Look at this. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Can you? There are so many kids swimming out here right now and families. I don't understand this. They say this is like a normal thing to do on a Sunday at 5 in the morning. You excited for the dolphins, babe? I've never seen dolphins. I'm really excited. This is like the best thing ever. This is going to be the highlight of Bali. Yeah. around us and we are just on the hunt to find these dolphins. I guess we're just pretty much looking for their dorsal fins to just keep popping up out of the water and then we head over near them once we see them. But we're out here for like two, two and a half hours so we have plenty of time to find some dolphins today. Quick update, we uh, have changed course. We are headed back to the east. I think it's the east. It was the east when I was over there. It was to my right, so that's east to me. Um, but we are headed to the other side now. We couldn't find anything down that way. So now we're headed towards the boats, which kind of sucks because there's like a lot of boats out there. But hopefully we won't be too close to that many people. But just this drive and sunrise alone is just amazing. It's so calm and peaceful out here. Look at all these boats. There's just boats all over. There's gotta be like 50 boats out here right now. And they're all hunting for dolphins. Come on, where are these guys at? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. There's five different species of dolphins here. Spinner dolphin is the most popular one out of the five species that they get to see here. And the spinner dolphin is the one that like jumps out of the water and spins and then goes back in. Stacia's the navigator of the boat. She's keeping an eye out for those dolphins. <laughs> we have found a school of dolphins. Everyone's cheering. <laughs> they're so beautiful.
trying to film and it's so hard because you like you get some like on your right side and you're like oh no oh, shoot and you start shooting it and then the captain's like no 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 over here over here and you turn around and you're then you gotta change your exposure it's really tough it's funny because as soon as one boat sees them he starts hauling ass towards them and then all of all the other boats are like oh shit let's go and they all start following in so we have like a ton of boats over here all following like the same pack of dolphins. Well, that was awesome. We are now heading back to the hotel, and it's cool because he's just gonna drop us off right on the beach, right in front of our door. <laughs> so that's gonna be really neat. And then we have like an awesome buffet breakfast that's waiting for us. So super excited because I am hungry right now. And we have arrived. It's super low tide right now too. Okay, so we are back at the hotel. It's the water's so warm. I just want to go swimming. But that was epic, so much fun. I really didn't think we were gonna see that many dolphins. Now we're gonna walk back to our room, drop off all our gear, charge up some of the batteries, and have some breakfast. All right, so we just arrived to the hot spring, and as you get in, you buy your ticket, and then there's this whole row of shops. I guess they don't supply towels for you. So there's people here where you can buy towels from if you wanna buy a dress, souvenirs, they have it all here. So we are headed to the hot spring now. So here's one of the hot springs, and this is like a big pool. I don't know if that's also a hot spring. And then there's another hot spring right down here on the other side of this. So they also have lockers here, so you can lock up all your stuff. And it's only 5,000 rupiah for a locker, um, and you can use it for as long as you need. And they also have bathrooms and changing rooms here, and that's about it. So we are just about to head down into the hot springs now. It looks really, really relaxing. This is about 30 minutes outside of the beach town Lovina, and it was actually helped put together by the Japanese after World War II. It was already together before then, but they kind of like helped renovate it and made it more grand like it is today. And there's like three different pools here that you can go in. Um, so we're gonna go in the big one and then the small one. I don't know, we're gonna go in all of them. Let's go. So this is really cool. It's actually like a sulfur hot spring. Yeah, because the water is said to have flown from a volcano. Um, so if you ever smelled sulfur, it smells like rotten eggs. It's not as bad as rotten eggs. It more, I think it more has like like an, like a metally smell okay. to it. But it's very faint. It's nothing like too serious. And this is uh, some holy water behind us, I guess. So we get ourselves all holied up. Yes, please. Get that holy water, babe. I need some help. <laughs> You have a lot of sins that you need to heal. <laughs> swimming in the hot springs you can come over here to a freshwater shower and rinse yourself off because it's not the cleanest water that's for sure yeah I, I walked out like with dirt on me <laughs> all right so we are finished with the hot spring that was really cool nice relaxing activity after seeing the dolphins yeah you can um, probably bring your family here and have a really fun time yeah definitely there's a lot of families here for sure now we are headed to I don't know where we're going next to be honest <laughs> so we're gonna head back to our guide hop in the car and he is gonna drive us somewhere. We just made it to our next stop, which is Brahma Vihara Buddhist Monastery. It's right behind us and it's looking really quiet. So I'm very excited to see this monastery without very many people at it. This place was built in 1970 and it's the biggest Buddhist monastery in all of Bali. Wow, this place is beautiful. And there's like nobody here, which makes it just that much more authentic of an experience. This is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. Yeah, this it's... is gorgeous. Wow. It looks like there's some parts that are under renovation right now. But overall, wow, this, this place is so beautiful. So the bottom of this entire pagoda has these lotus flower leaves surrounding it. It's so gorgeous. So let's go inside of this pagoda. It is insane. Oh my God.
This monastery actually serves still as a meditation and learning center. So this is one of the rooms that the monks would meditate in. And you'll see they have the bolsters here to make sitting and meditation a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so right in front of me, they have a small replica of the biggest Buddhist monastery in the entire world called Borobudur, and it is gorgeous. The second we show you guys this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. so sweet. How does it look? Oh yeah, you look like a little Hawaiian girl. Aww. This gateway here at this Buddhist monastery looks almost identical to the super popular touristy one that you have to wait like two hours in line to take a picture with. A, this place is way more cultural and amazing and B, there's no one here so you can take as many shots as you want. So if you're looking for that quintessential Bali Instagram, I highly suggest yeah. using these beautiful gates. Yeah, I would come here for sure. And we're viewing it from the other side right now. You can see the beach and the water and like the villages all throughout. It's so gorgeous. You gotta come here. Yeah. This is definitely a must-see spot. Probably one of our favorite spots on this tour so 100%. far. 100%, this is my favorite by yeah. far. Uh, if you haven't, Follow us on Instagram to see the photos that we're taking here today because we got some really epic stuff. I'll leave the link down below in the description. But look at this view, guys. And it just goes all out into the distance there. Stasia's a celebrity, getting all the photos. Hello, ladies. How are you? Welcome to Bali. Thank you. It's so amazing here. Do you enjoy it? Yes, we're loving it. So we have made it to another stop, which is called Twin Lake. And this is pretty wow. epic. We have a lake here, and then this huge mountain-esque scenery, and then another lake here, hence Twin Lake. So there's not much to see here, really. Well, there's well, a ton okay. to see. There's not much to do here, really. This isn't really like an activity. This is more of just like a stop-off, a lookout point, where you can just take in this beautiful scenery, have a coffee or something to eat if you want. Uh, but yeah, this is so beautiful. It's just nice and peaceful. There's birds flying around, clouds rolling in. It's really, really nice. So we're here at the final stop of the day, and it's a temple called, I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Ulan Danu Baratan Temple. And it's like a big temple grounds with beautifully manicured gardens. There's a temple right on this gorgeous lake that this place is overlooking. There's multiple restaurants, there's places for you and your family to hang out. It's a beautiful place to hang out. It's great to bring your kids and have like a family and little outing. There's people like laying on the lawns in the garden area, uh, sitting with their families and talking. There's kids playing on playgrounds and swing sets. Uh, so it's definitely a great place for families and the weather. Oh my gosh. I'm. I'm cold right now without my shoulders covered. The weather feels so good. We haven't felt this cool in a really long yeah. time. Overall, the tour with Bali Golden Tours has just been amazing. Exceptional. Yeah, it really is totally worth the money. It's mm -hmm. super affordable. It's $150 US per person for the full two days. And you get your accommodations, food, lunch, dinner, all, all admissions. Yeah, all admissions. Uh, I mean, they take care of everything for you. This morning, the dolphins. Oh my gosh. I mean, that was just the highlight of our trip to Bali, really. Yeah. That's, I mean, it was so much fun, something completely different than we've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was just, it was just amazing. So I would highly recommend this tour. There were a few things that we would leave out that we told you guys about in the last video, but overall, amazing. 
speaking of the last video, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch part one, because that's day one of this entire tour, which yeah. we did some epic stuff that day too. So we are super tired. <laughs> I am about to fall face first into this grass and probably take a nap here. <laughs> but we have a just about a two hour drive back to our villa. And uh, so we need to just cut this video short right here. Boom, done. We out. So if you guys are interested in this tour, I'll leave a link right here. It's called Bali Golden Tours. And then also down in the description, we'll leave a link to their website as well as like a quick itinerary of everything that we did so you can get a, an overview of, of what we did the past two days and I think that there's more on the itinerary than we showed you too so make sure you check out the itinerary see if it's something you're interested in yeah definitely but that's about it we're gonna call it quits here if you guys enjoyed this video and the last video <laughs> hit the thumbs up button on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video see ya